from bronze to mythic. If I could only open some rares. That's freaking terrible. But we'll work hard to solve the format. Seven wins. And I'm sure we'll make it there. All right. What's up, my friends? Welcome to Bronze to Mythic. Good news and bad news, folks. The good news is we finally made it into Diamond Tier 4. Um, I know, I know. The bad news is it was on episode, it was on draft number 19. So uh, we we're definitely going to hit the over here. The line was 21.5. Don't think I can make Mythic in two drafts. Uh, so that's uh, that's going to be an under. We had a rough run there in the middle parts of Platinum, but now nah, I think we're feeling good. I'm going to gonna We're, we're remastered here. We're re uh, rebalanced, and we're going to rock and roll and get into our draft. Of course, Baldur's Gate is the current set. I know everyone's very excited for Dominaria United. I am too, honestly. Uh, but we're not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. So let's hop into our draft. Let's do a little more alchemy ing, ing, ing. And, uh, and let's get it done. All right, let's get it done. If you want to know more about Dominaria United, uh, my first look is already up on my main YouTube channel. Check that, check that one out. Of course, if you're new here and maybe you uh, found me through Bronze and Mythic, I have a second, a second, a, a main channel. It's not just Bronze and Mythic, but a whole bunch of other stuff too. So check that out, of course, Jim Davis MTG, and uh, check out the, the first looks. Dominaria is an important set for me, folks. It's my Worlds format. I'm playing in Worlds. Only one of 32 players playing in Worlds this year, and. Uh, Dominaria Draft, Dominaria Standard, Dominaria Explorer. It's going to be awesome. Let's do it. All right. Ooh, that's a cool card. All right. So once again, the numbers you see here are the untapped.gg overlay. The uh, link is in the description of the YouTube video. Uh, download it yourself for free. It's awesome. Dynamic ratings, et cetera, et cetera. We have a really good rare here. Uh, the Jin or Jin Emperor, super cool card. You cycle and then it taps things. You draw a card and it keeps making new copies of itself. And then when you discard a copy and exile two of them, you get a free copy of the card for free. Really, really good card, honestly. And blue is very, very improved. Uh, thanks to the updates. You've also got a, uh, a Citadel Agent here, which is a pretty good aggro card in red. And then not a ton else here, else here honestly. Circle Land Druid's obviously a very good green card. It's now been re rebounced. Confederate by Robbers is okay. Uh, that's if you're really aggressive, it can be pretty good. But I'm taking the rare here. Um, I'm, I'm not scared to draft blue. Uh, blue was the worst color by a lot, but the rebalance has definitely helped. Uh, and I just like good rares when I see them. So let's just do it. The Jin Emperor. Oh my god. Who passes this card? <laughs> what is happening? Waka, waka. Uh, Will is unbelievable. I believe we lost this card in our last draft. This is a 5 out of 4 4. It steals something. And then also gets to sacrifice it as part of the specialized ability just an unbelievable card and uh blue red is not super appealing but starting my draft up with two bomb rares and playing at least one of them is a good place to be we see an uncommon missing over will here um i guess the drafter either really likes doesn't like red or doesn't know what this card does or whatever but this card's really good it's also an underseller card that i love of course and uh a little, little rope dope action a couple of random white cards uh, we're not passing any red or blue cards here, which is a pretty good sign, actually. So, take the rare. I mean, just going to take my rares and just going to do my thing, right? Passed a pack with a Pilgrim's Eye, a Lapis Orb of Dragonkind. This card did get better because uh, it now taps for any color, but still not super exciting. Uh, best card in the pack is Priest of Ancient Lore. The rest of the cards in the pack are fine. Uh, and Pilgrim's Eye is super safe, too, though. Let's take Pilgrim's Eye here. I guess, actually, you know what? Actually, Ravel Rouser is also really, really good. Um... We don't necessarily know that we're red, but I guess cutting off red has an appeal too. Uh, and if we end up just straight blue red, then Pilgrim's Eye is good, but not like incredible. Pilgrim's Eye is better when you're splashing, obviously. I'm taking the Rouser here. Let's cut the let's cut the red off. Will's insane. Passing a will is just like a huge signal. Obviously, they're not red, and the Rabble Rouser is a great card too. So let's take the Rabble Rouser here and go from there. Let's see where it takes us. And where does it take us? Uh, no blue cards. No blue. No. No. No blue cards is kind of a kind of a weird one because uh, blue, of course, uh, it's still not great. Uh, it's definitely as it's much improved, but it's not exactly the uh, you know the end all be all here. Uh, this pack's pretty weak overall. Air cult's pretty good. Not a card to take this early. Uh, Innkeeper is fine, but we're not green. Uh, I think if we want to stay on color here. It's beetles or air cult. Pretty easy beetles though, I think. Just a super solid card. 
And uh, red is, is flowing at the moment, so let's just kind of ride the ride the wave here a little bit. Take our giant fire... Be oh, oh, oh my god. Uh, yeah, red is definitely flowing. Uh, this is a fifth pick Dragon's Fire pack one with a rare, two uncommons, and a common missing. Uh, so a huge signal that red is very, very open. Um, we'll see a Grim Wanderer, Valor Singer... Nothing really super exciting otherwise. So yeah, but slam dunk the Dragon's Fire. It's not even close. Uh, next pack has a Hill Giant and a Band Together. Both very solid green cards, but red and green don't drive that well together. And uh, the gates are all phenomenally good. So I'm very, very happy to just take gate here. And, um, you know, green looks a little open, but I'm not ready to jump just yet. And uh, just take the card we're definitely going to play here, which is very, very good. The first gate is so good. So take our gate. And we're still rocking here with the red cards. Another Beatles. Uh, I think the first War Caller is better than the second Beatles. Um, not a card you want to play a ton of, and the Beatles are really, really good. So this is like a Diminishing Returns thing, where I'd play four Fire Beatles, probably only play one or two War Callers, so we could, in theory, take the Beatles, take the, the Beatles down to get a War Caller later. But I think I want the War Caller, honestly. Um, the card's pretty good. I mean, it might end up being Mono Red here, given how open Red is. We get to make a really cool aggressive red deck, which would be super sweet. So, Valor Singer's fun. Nothing super exciting, but just a solid red card. And we take one other War Caller. Sure, that's, that's kind of the issue, of, uh, like I was saying. But War Caller is solid. Um, I would play two for sure, especially for Mono Red. So, take the War Caller. And Warriors is a solid card as well. And Valor's Imp is probably a little better than Warriors. Maybe a little better than Warriors, honestly. But again, Norris is to take a black card here. So, take the Warriors. Uh, our first pack without a red card, which is interesting. Inspiring Bard is, is okay. Um, it's kind of cute with the War Caller, because you can give itself plus two, plus two, and then it's a five, five haste, which is kind of fun. Use Fine Prisoners as a cool card, but I think super exciting. Um, at the moment, we're mono red, which is honestly, uh, pretty freaking cool. Good lord. Uh, so we like that. Summon Undead, or Clutches, or Line Up a Shot. These are all pretty bad, but whatever, I guess. Uh, Windfall or Allies. I don't actually hate Allies. I think it's actually kind of fine. Windfall is not very good in our deck, though, so... prefer to not play Allies, but we'll see. Uh, and we see what we open in Pack 2. Pack 2 we open. Uh, a very good blue card here in Sword Coast Serpent. But I don't think we're blue at this point. Blue is not very open at all. We open a pretty good red card here in Gut. Uh, Fanatical Priestess. It's a pretty good, expensive, but good card. It comes into play fight stuff. Uh, no red cards in this pack, which is pretty interesting. Um, but I think Gut here is pretty reasonable. Just a good top end card. I'm in. I'm in. It's a band together, which is pretty good. Honestly, we end up aggressive. Like, I think that green and red don't jive very well together uh, because most of the green cards want to ramp, not attack. But there are a few good aggro green cards like Archery and Null Hunter. So you can be like red green, but you need to draft it a certain way. But take the priest here. Alright, cool. It's funny, we actually passed this card in, uh, in pack one. It was in our opening back, I'd forgotten about it. But, card's really good. Uh, Citadel Asia's a 3-2 haste for 3, which is already, like, fine. And then, uh, you may discard your hands. If you're ever empty-handed, this card can draw some cards. Super awesome. Also, a Rouser, and a Ribbonry, and a Singer. So, we're definitely gonna table one of those. Um, Rouser is really good, but I think it's the Agent just better, so. Take Agent. I think we're gonna be Mono Red, folks. It's actually really fun. Um... Okay, and then as I say that, the next pack has no red cards in it, but that's fine, that's fine. I mean, Fire Beetles is obviously great. Uh, no card here, I would take over Fire Beetles. Um, even though, like, eh, no, no card here is better, honestly, so let's take Fire Beetles. And, okay, now red is thinning, so this is a little bit of a concern. Red is starting to thin a little bit. What does that mean for us? Uh, it means we're going to be starting to look for a second color. We do have the Jin, even though it's blue, blue, blue. You don't ever, never need to cast this card. You can just cycle it, tap a thing, draw a card, and then turns later, do it again. So this card can be can be splashed. Soul Knife Spy is actually a pretty awesome card in a blue red deck. If we're just like lightly blue, plays great with War Caller. It's a good aggro card. Uh, normally not very good because blue doesn't do and do that, but this can work. Uh, I can see this working for sure. Soul is really really good with the War Callers. Um, Bronze Walrus or Noel Hunter? Again, we don't really have a reason to be green, although Noel Hunter is the kind of card we would want in our red-green aggro deck. Um, the Walrus itself is honestly not very exciting. We do have some bigger spells, though. We do have uh, Warriors, 
We got Will. We got Gut. I'm going to Walrus here. Again, we only have literally have one green card. It's not very good, so there's no reason to think that we're green in any way. Uh, late Rabble Rouser. You'd love to see it. And uh, honestly, Dragon might also end up being okay in this deck, too. So late Grip Bounty, too, but we're not that. So Rabble Rouser is awesome. And uh, looks like we're just going to be like a pretty sick double team deck uh, with Warcaller, Rouser, Beatles. You come to a river place here, honestly. This is, um, it's a rare, reasonable removal spell. We're actually going to kind of more aggressively slide the deck. So I think we're going to be mono reddish, splashing blue. I think that's where we're currently at. Cell Sword's not great anyway, so. Take come to a river. Oh, no, Soul Knife Spy. All right, sick. Yeah, we're in. We're, we're, we're blue for sure. All right, so. Double Soul Knife Spy. We need some removal spells, but I'm, like, liking where our deck is going. It's kind of sweet. Hypnotic Pattern's kind of a cool card if we're going to be aggressive. I don't think I necessarily want to play it, but. Could be there for sure. We table Weaponry and Valor Singer. Valor Singer is like whatever. I think the first Weaponry is pretty reasonable. We're a little lighter removal, so take Weaponry. Come to River, sure. Our deck's like almost done. Uh, water Weird, sure. Play that card, good. Warriors, the Walrus is not very good in our deck, but we are doing pretty well here. Um, a lot of threes, I think the Walrus is just gonna go. Uh, Warcaller, Dragon's Fire, Rouser. A little light on two, actually, also. We have a lot of threes. I could see not playing Bower Singer. We got Warriors, we got some big ones, big ones here. We'll see. The Walruses might, might make the cut. Could also end up being Mono Red, I guess, if we get, like, a really good pack three. But I would want to have multiple removal spells, uh, because right now, Blue is giving us two removal spells, two solid creatures, and then a pseudo bomb. Um, still good to cycle this card. Although not gonna be as good. Although it is good with the, the soul knife spies too, just like cycling it. Too bad to tap a thing, draw a card, it's just like honestly just a fine guard. So take bag of holding. Kind of a cool draft. Definitely have not been blue red yet. Um you can see blue red isn't even on the win rate thing here. It's not a very common archetype, but this is what I was saying earlier, kind of about um how some cards, you know, some archetypes don't really work well. But there might be a card or two in the color that might help you. So, for example, Red Green uh, wants to be kind of Green wants to be rampy. Red wants to be aggro, but Null Hunter works. Soul Knife Spy is the same thing. Here. Blue is usually a slow deck, but Double Soul Knife, Double Come the River makes a lot of sense. So we see uh, Gut, Reckless Barbarian is basically unplayable, which is literally just Grizzly Bear. A third Come to a River, which I'm not very excited about. Um, honestly, Librarians is like not a bad card. Uh, it's not exactly what we're looking for, but, like, it does play well with the War Callers, and it's just a good double team card. I don't think I want a second gut. It's just, like, really, really expensive, so I think Librarians. I'm a fan. Oh, my God. All right. All right, thank God for Dragonfire here, because Juvenile Mist Dragon is really, really good, but means a much bigger commitment to, to, to blue. So I was going to agonize over if I even want this or not. Um, this card, of course, from our, from our last draft... <laughs> Nat 20, but yeah, Dragon's Fire, easy here. Not even close. Uh, love the Dragon's Fire here. Another Gut, uh, a Red Dragon, a Gate to Sea Tower. I mean, Red Dragon's great. Our deck is definitely a little bigger than I, I think I would like it to be, but I think it's fine. Um, Red Dragon is quite good. It's going to be another 6 drop, so we have two fives and two sixes now, so that Walrus might get back into our deck. But Dragon's great, so... So Gate to Sea Tower, which is pretty good. Uh, another Soul Knife Spy and another War Caller. Third War Caller, not necessary. Third Soul Knife Spy. It's Spy is pretty good. We're definitely a little, little clunked up on three. There's a chance we don't play either one of these cards, honestly. I think two War Callers are enough, though. I'll take Soul Knife Spy. See how, much, how many more removal spells we get. Um, Beetles, Weaponry. I, I would say we could see uh, not playing Valor Singer. Weaponry is, you know... Not playing Librarian is also reasonable, though these double team cards are really, really good. Right now we're at 22 playables, so our deck is, is humming along here. It's funny, the Citadel Asian is actually like not that good in our deck because our curve is so high, but it's still good. So, uh, Pretty bad pack. Don't really want any of these cards, but it's fun. Obviously super good on playables. Probably playing uh, 16 lands in this deck. Some of the cards you could play here, uh, Bower Singer and Hypnotic Pattern are both playable in our deck. You know, we get two more solid playables, probably some two drops, honestly. Only having Rabble Rousers as a two drop is not ideal. 
I mean, another dragon fire would be sweet, obviously, but that's actually pretty, pretty good. So there's a a Sword Coast Surf, which is a really good card. It's obviously a little weird, because like, it's kind of hard to cast. The Bounce Spell is like, fine in our deck, honestly. Um, it's a thing to do on two, just buy some time. Obviously, we can cast it later. Kind of interesting. We are like losing our aggressive slant a little bit, but this card's good. So. Blur. Fireball. Crap. Just a bunch of garbage. Uh, sure. Still a piece of garbage. We're 23 right now. Um, Shocking Grass plays in this deck, honestly. With three Soul Knife Spies. Again, this is the kind of card where, that, again, is like pretty bad in this format because most blue decks don't want to attack. But with three Soul Knife Spies, like, attack you, block your Soul Knife Spy, Shocking Grasp, cool. You know, so. Card's terrible. Definitely an interesting little brewski we have here. I'm not going to lie. This is a. Uh, not where I expected this draft to go, but it's uh, certainly an interesting place to be. So, awesome. Great gate is fan out. fantastic. So now we have two gates. One gate of each color. Um, the gut tables. They're not playing two guts, so charm sleeps. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't actually matter. The our deck's just done. I think this is our deck. So our curve is a little bit higher than I would like, but yeah, third war caller is too much. Too much. Sure. Cool. This is a cool deck. I'm actually very excited to play this deck. Um, I have not really seen anything like this so far in uh, in this format. So, what's our rating going to be from Draftsmith? It's, it's going to be low, I think. Because the problem is that, like, again, I think on average, a lot of the cards we're playing aren't good. But I think the way our deck is built, they actually are good. Again, Soul Knife Spy being the main culprit for that. So, uh, let's pull our lands out. This is 24 cards. This is it, right? We just got, um, we're actually a little more blue red than I thought. So we're like, probably like a 9 7 mana base. Uh, I could see playing 16 lands. Maybe our curve is pretty high. Um, the question would be what do you want to cut at that point? Um,. We got some big boomers. I guess we have a cantrip. We have a cantrip here, cantrip here. But we're playing. We're playing sixty lands. We have double cantrips. Yeah, so play those. And like I said, we're gonna do uh, whatever I said before. Seven. It's probably too many. Yeah, we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do nine six. All right. This is a cool deck. Uh, I am actually. It's like it's like this costs two. This costs two. Make sure you make sure, make make note of that. You know our curves aren't as crazy as it looks. But this deck's super sweet. I like it. I don't know it's good, but we're going to find out. So you know what time it is, folks. Take a second, pause the video, scroll down to the comments. Is this a seven-win deck? Are you a believer or non-believer? Seven wins, yay or nay? Believer or non-believer? Let me know your comment. Let me know your thoughts before draft starts and leave a comment. Of course, like the video along the way. Along the way. Please support the channel. I love you all. And uh, let's get going here. I'm pumped to play this deck. All right. We are playing against a legendary Pokemon that is Mythic 800 with our... Crappy blue red deck. I love it. Uh, don't love this hand though. Uh, very close to being good. You know, work all into Dragon's Fire and a Soul Nest Buy is exactly what we want, but no red, obviously. So we're going to mulligan. Mulligan to a decent hand. We keep this. Keep this and ship. It's either Gut or Walrus. Probably the Gut, honestly, because we have no guarantee we're going to uh, get the six. We have plenty of big things in our deck also, so I'm not worried about like not having a big payoff at the end. So play this, play work all or just go. See what's up. Planes. Red dragon. Red dragon. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. So we attack for one here. Yeah, not worth uh, giving haste extra, I think. So, man, red dragon with haste is insane. Just in for eight. Whew. All right, so uh, two mana. What two mana cards can kill my fire beals before attacks? I don't think there's any, honestly. I guess cast out or whatever, but... That's not common, so... Ship it! Do the double team thing. Oh, yeah! Warcaller plus double team is really good. Nefarious Imp. Okay. Opponent is, like, just not even trying. Alright, so... Yeah, we're just gonna give the Beatles haste. And stack again. Just do it again. 
This is it. And for four, you're at 13 with the two mana creatures in play. I also have this red dragon hanging out too, so. They're gonna Demi-Gorgon clutches me. They're gonna mine rot me under this amount of pressure. Alright. Um I guess we keep the the bounce spell and the the haster. Cause this thing will also and now I have discarded cards. I can redraw them and stuff, so. Alright, screw Dragon Wars. Dragon's obviously really good worse so far from casting it, so. Mill two, whatever. Freaking imp on defense here. We draw land. Um, discard your hand and draw two. Yeah, we're never gonna, gonna river here, I think. With the menace creatures, like we're just like in a six spot, so. They get to scry one, they bottom. We have the haster, they'll also draw two cards in theory too, so. The mine rot was kinda like, yeah, sure, mine rot me. You know, whatever. I'm gonna show draw them back with this card again. So our best draw next time is probably just a land. Oh my god. What a massacre. Soul Knife Spy? That's also really good. We'll do that instead. Never mind. It's funny how uh, Soul Knife Spy and Citadel Agent don't jive very well together. One draws a lot of cards, one doesn't. Ardag is cool. And Ardag is also kind of like uh, anti the format. Because the format got slower after the rebalance. So people are playing more slow crap cards like Demigorgon, whatever. And we're kind of like against the grain of that, which is sweet. So. That was a sick game. That was I don't I don't After it was all over. That was an awesome game. You took us in the house of service pancake. That felt like two wins at once. Whew. You're going over the speed run here. You mulligan in that game too. That's insane. Alright, so we're on the uh we're on the play again with another another no mountain hand. We just got mulligan, I think. Hand just terrible, so. Alright, I actually draws cards really well. As you can see here, every card in my hand draws the cards, so keep this. I, uh, this is an interesting one, because, like, do would you rather have the 4-drop and the 3-drop, or just both beetles? Is that better? I think about the librarians. So I'm going to do this. Obviously, I have all 3s here, which kind of sucks, but... And the war callers are really good. Maybe we do want a third war, war, war caller. Is war caller, like, just that good in our deck? Is our deck, is our deck, is our deck a combo deck and not, like, a creature deck? Like, just 3 war caller and 3 soul man spies? Maybe it is, actually. Okay, play soul man spy. Something's gonna happen here, but no, okay. No, I resolved, all right, cool. Well, there's always like just the, you know, all right, sure, that's fine. Get the uh, the soul life train going. And let's play librarians. And I'm kind of happy drawing land so I can go beetles and then bounce your thing. Cool, that's fine. Scry 2. I'm happy bouncing this. I think it's a pretty good tempo play. Bounce this, play Beatles, attack, get a get a librarian. Yeah, I think I should, we, should, we should cut a card for the third war caller. Now I'm thinking about it. Like as these games are playing out. I just want war caller actually every game. I guess I could have like killed it with the weaponry, but let's attack. Double team. Play Beatles, say go. Here they are! The Beatles! Dun, 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 dun. Weaponry again? That card's like actually quite good against us. Not a very good in the format in general, but it's good here, I guess. They're gonna burn all the treasures. They're not gonna burn all the treasures to cast this thing, so let's uh, ship our attack in. And we're gonna cast another librarian here, I think. I mean, they didn't cast this for a reason. They're either banking up for a huge threat or have a counterspell. The counterspell obviously is counter to pay twos. But I guess this card can't attack into this card anyway, so I just put librarians. Let's see what's up. Resolves. Scry two. Um, I think we're past the point of wanting war caller, which one lands. Oh, the dragon too, though, so. We have a, a treasure here, and then like just drawing lands to cast dragon and serpent's pretty sweet too, so. Alright. Red dragon. So you're right about the uh, the desire for extra mana. We're gonna attack here and try to finish this thing off, I think, if they'll let me. I 
What do you got, coward? You're not a coward. You're a warrior. You you are in that. You are in that block. You're good. Finish that off. And the question is, do I cast Soul Knight Spy, or do I just hold the mana for either Dragon or Serpent next turn? Given that Spy can't even attack this, this two four, I'm just gonna go. All right, there's your librarians. Spry two. Bottom, bottom. We love a good bottom here. Rabble Rouser. So we can cast Red Dragon. I don't think this mana's been up forever though. I'm just like not feeling it. I'm getting I'm getting vibes. I'm getting vibes that I don't like. I'm just gonna cast uh, multiple spells here. I'm just gonna go. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting some vibes. I'm gonna get some vibes here. I think they have the uh, counter with pay too. Anyway, and we're gonna take up. Make it so if they want to attack with their librarians, they're gonna lose it. Dragonborn Innovator. So again, playing a four mana spell, leading mana up. You come to a river. A river. Um, making soul last by unblockable is extremely risky. Bouncing anything isn't particularly great. This is a somewhat unappealing spot. I can pump once, twice. I can pump three times with Rabble Rouser um, at the cost of a treasure. But I would get a Rouser and kill a thing too. I think I'm in. So they block here if they block. They're gonna double, sure. So we'll, we'll kill the. Uh, I'm actually gonna kill the librarians. So they can't double team me, so sure. Alright, so pump. 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 Hey, okay, we're not in a rush with this treasure, so. I think this is fine. And there's a trick here, like, great, whatever, we gotta trick out our card regardless, so. It's a freaking mirror, folks. Who saw the mirror coming, huh? Not me. Not me. Alright. That's a lot of lands. Alright, they attack. We double block. Soul Knife Spy, not so good in the world of two fours. Yeah, we like actively want to kill this and not the emulator, so. Will they pump? Hypnotic pattern? You got me. I mean, these are all shooters anyway, so whatever. And then librarians. Okay. Scry two. We definitely saw the counter spell too. Uh that card's really good. Um okay. I mean, it's obviously just a card we like kind of need to resolve. Um, stealing Immolator is pretty good. They have three cards in their hand. They have so many cards in their hand. How do they have so many cards? None of their cards two for one. I guess they grasp did, but I guess I mulligan on, on the play this game. I want to hold a card specialized with. Just bounce the emulator, I guess. Just like buy some time. I mean, not casting Rouser though. It's just like so sketchy. Yeah, whatever. I. Resolve really fast too. I don't think they have a counter spell. I don't know what they have, honestly. To be totally honest. Just gonna go for it. If I draw a land, I'll cast dragon. Oh, I'll, I'll cast dragon first. Let's see, let's see if they have the counter spell. We'll try and draw it out here. God, I'm so good. Alright. Just knew they had it. Just knew they had it. 
All right, Will. You and me to the ends of the earth, pal. Let's finish this game off. I need to pay six mana to kill my low four. That's not fine. No blocks is fine. Sure. Just gonna pump once. Do mana for this thing. All right, well. They have another one you got me. What am I gonna do? It's very odd that their counters would be good against us because we're like the super aggro deck. I'm blue. All right, sure, whatever. Like... I know it's a really, really weird game. Uh, counter spells are normally awful against the more aggressive decks, which we are. But, like, we also just have this top end, and just, like, for some reason, we're just, like, behind on lands and cards. And they just, like, worked really well. Their deck looks a lot worse than ours, but uh, things are lining up very well for them, so... Yeah, it's brutal. And they're, they're obviously miles ahead now, so. Yeah. Uh, take four. Yeah, I should have no outs, I don't think. Serpent's good, but. Take two. I don't understand that. I just have so many cards. I just don't get it. Um. Ship the later. We have six lands to their eight, and they're ahead like four cards otherwise. A two for one off grasp. I guess the librarian's two for one. This just two for one. Land two for one. This kind of got us, I guess. Really weird game. Really weird game. I mean, I guess we can, like, potentially cheese them out with the Serpent. Probably not, though. It's six. Yeah. I don't think you actually have any chance. Loose keys. Guts of these guys on. Water weird? Like, they're playing some stinkers, you know? But... It's working. It is working. The play is very crisp and fast. They seem good. Alright. I mean, as far as, like, you know, drawing cards that do things, that is a reasonable one. Alright, so... There's no point in giving Gut haste, because we're not going to attack with it. We're going to play this and fight the 6-6 six, six on the 3-4. And just go from there. Alright, I, I guess, uh, everything's just coming up Millhouse here. Alright, I mean, you win, I guess. We're just dead. Alright, that was a weird game. Uh, their opponent's deck seems awful, but they seem really, really good. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that says about the game or anything else, but they definitely, definitely played very well. So, quick deck building swap here. I think I'm going to swap out the Warriors for uh, the third Warcaller. I think I want to just have Warcaller and a Spy every game. So, let's try that. I think the Warriors is like... Let me keep this. Um, we already have on a top end. Just doesn't make me feel necessary, honestly. This hand's okay. It's not great, but it's fun. We have Warcrawler on one. We have some, some cantrips. That last match was weird. Last game was really weird. Oh. Warcrawler, go. All right, that is what we call in the business of the combo. Um, I am going to not attack because I really want this to have haste. So if they like untap and, and, and like kill this and I attack for one, I'm gonna feel bad about it. So play land tank is weird. Um, are they gonna kill this? Oh wow. God, I'm so smart. That worked out perfectly. Soul Knife Spy with haste? Oh my god. Uh, 
Oh, I, I didn't see you there. We also have the, the vampire spawn. Oh man, shocking grasp. Oh god, yes. Uh, we attacking grasp. We could just bounce it, honestly. But I like to bounce the next thing. I think so. Let's play. Uh, let's attack. They snap locks. They have to. This was a thing in like the old, the old, the old D and D set where like blue is a better color, and like the shocking grasp soul knife spy decks were so awesome. All right, now let's play a thing. We bounce it. Act. Draw cards, etc. Bouncer tap. Librarians. That's a bounce. Definitely a bounce. It's amazing how adding one uh, one little purple five-letter word to this card makes this card ridiculous. Top, top. Yeah, well, hope that doesn't ruin your plans there, friend. Will, will. We could play the agent. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna play this whole nice buy. So let's attack. Try to draw a land here. A land would be ideal. Ideal. Oh, ideal. Say yeah. And now I get to just tap their blocker, get him a bunch. The game's over, folks. We got a will here, too. Just steal her stuff. Specialize. The Trickster Fiend. Uh, and a Vampire Spawn. Sure. So tap Vampire Spawn. Weaponry we this. Need some life, whatever. Cycle this. Target that. Do the whole conjure thing. It's in my deck now. We draw a war crawler. Draw an island. We're going to a weaponry and cast a bunch of stuff too. So we're going to go weaponry. Nope, tap it right. Kill this. Treasure. Agent. Again, these cards don't play very well together in amusing fashion, but we're not going to discard our hand. Uh, decline. Deal nine, draw two. Replay war caller, so you go. What a shellacking. What an absolute shellacking. We got all the vampire spawns in the world won't save you, my friend. Or you have will haste and steal her thing. Can I double combat stuff? Two cast downs, too. Like, they played two cast downs and three vampire spawns, and we shall just smush them. Like, just absolutely smush them. I they're so dead here. We get to give this haste, and then double combat step, I think, right? Is that how this works? Give it out scoop first. I gotta go fast on scoop. Steal this. Oh, shit. Oh, I, I can't attack it. Never mind. Whatever, it's fine. And discard this. I haven't read this card, but I think it doubles the combat step, right? So... Stack this, and attack. Let's my hand and draw two, uh, decline. I need a second guard combat step. <laughs> that was cool. Wow, it's like there's a party in my mouth and everyone's invited. Oh boy, I think we have to keep this. We can't all look at this end. We're drawing to Eight blue sources and three war callers to make the sand good. So that's eight, nine, that's eleven draws on the draw with like our any island just like a reasonable hand also. It's not great, but we're gonna keep I'm like I'm all in the sand. Lanes, grass, okay. Grass makes soul nice by better if we draw blue. I guess war caller we need to draw blue also, but I don't know, maybe it's a loose keep, I don't know. I think our deck is a little weird because normally I just like lean towards keeping almost always in limited because it's just so important to have uh, have more cards in your opponent. But our deck is like a little weird. It's almost like a combo deck with three war callers and three soul lamp spies. So like we almost want to just like get that draw more like constructed where you kind of get your engine online and win the game. But I'm just going to kill this now. I'm not going to risk them teeing off on me. A bunch of random 2-1s block my soul lamp spies forever too. So just buy some time. Hopefully draw an island next turn. Ancient War. Alright. Here, 20% draw island. That's fine, that works too. Go go ka choo ka choo ka choo ka choo. I mean, I kinda want these cards. <laughs> um Dragon is really good. 
The Rouser is also pretty good. We have five mana at present. We already have a six drop, though. Hmm. Next turn can be Spy plus Rouser. Then the next turn can be Shocking Grasp. Alright, let's keep it. I'm greedy. I'm greedy. Don't kill my Walrus, please. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sure. I get it. I understand. I get the trick. I get it. Go Rouser. Sure. So we go land, soul mass by, Rouser. And so we go. Again, we have the Wombo Combo. We split our twin here of Soul Mass by plus Shocking Grasp, so. Spy probably at its worst against the white decks, which is why the card wasn't very good beforehand, because white was the best color by like a lot. Now white's been tuned down a little bit, so it's not as good. The Dragon Vassal. Interesting. Alright. Well, we're attacking. Let's see. If, if they block the Vassal on the Soulness Buy, we're going to lose and get actual nothing, but they never block like that, so should attack. It's always a 2-1 here every time, so... Fire up our grasp, draw blue source. No. No, no, no. Alright. I think we're in trouble now. Um, I guess we draw a land and play Red Dragon, right? But if we've gut also, that's not bad, I suppose. This thing has to attack and it pumps things, which is kind of scary. We can't pump and kill the stalwart. Yeah, we take a lot this turn. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, probably need to draw that blue source there. This card's so weird, because like I've been very underwhelmed with this card. It, like, can be very, very powerful, but it's very, very clunky. Uh, need to have this thing, Coast is clear to attack, and another attacker, and have good attacks. Like, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of ifs. Like, right now, they, they meet those circumstances, so it's obviously very, very good. But, for, like, a lot of time, it's just a 5 and a 4-4. Four, four. I got their thinking so long here, it does not bode well for us, I feel like. Like when you specialize, you don't have to attack, right? No, it's, it's, it's it attacks also, so. Like, it's not exactly the, the largest body to get into combat, you know, so it trades off pretty often. They are really in the tank. Really, really in the tank. They specializing? I think we're obvious. Right, specialize for white. What's that one do? Nothing good, probably. Lifelink and lifelink. Oh my god. Alright, sure. We're about to gain 100,000 life. Alright. I mean, I guess, like, we have blocks next turn, so... We don't draw land. That's still. So we can Librarians and Warcaller. That's fine, honestly. Obviously, you never race them anymore, so... Sorgo Serpent's pretty good. This thing costs six now. Gate to tumble down is not so good. So let's keep the Serpent. And just play Warcaller and Sigo. We will line up double blocks as appropriate. And bouncing this is pretty good. Because again, they, they, gotta, they gotta play six mana to play it again. And then it has to have be able to attack the next turn. Like it doesn't, just doesn't do anything unless it's like, you know, a non-summoning stick on a board that it can actually attack on with another creature that can actually attack. Which is hard this format because this format the boards get gummed up pretty quick. So we have a lot of a uh, top end here. You eat in a tavern. Oh my god. Oh, uh, there's, no, there's no trample. It's just plus two, plus two. So we have a 6-6 six, six and an 11-5. So uh, we can just go like this. Kill the stupid dragon vassal. Um, they kill two of my creatures, probably soul knife spy and librarians. And then we're just like facing down a 3-3. Three, three. Sure, that's fine, whatever. 
It's fine. Um, right? Yeah, it's cool. They gain a ton of life, but... Huh. Can we, like... Can we just jump the stalwart and just take six? And then, like, fire up both Soul Knife Spies next turn? And draw a bunch of cards... And then try and draw a blue source to bounce the dragon vassal. So that would involve just like probably jumping here and taking six. And then next turn, haste the soul nest by, attack a bolt soul nest buys. I guess then we like have to draw a blue source or if they think a block or we just die. This is tough. It's actually a really tough spot. Our hand is so, like, good that we probably want to trade here, I think. Yeah, we'll just trade off. Because we're going to get the double team anyway. Yeah, I don't I don't love this. I feel like... I feel like we could maybe be a little more... risky. But we don't really need to. We'll just block like this. They'll kill the spy and the librarians and the war crawler. We still have our rouser. Um, bouncing ice wind stalwart. It's not ideal. I mean, the spy just blocks it though. So it's most predicated on the fact that we just have like two six drops in our hand, so like we can play into the late game kind of thing. Oh my god! Stop playing good cards. What the hell's wrong with you? Reach trample ward two. It turns into a five five or a three four. The five five is freaking huge. Alright, um... It's a 5-5, five, five, it costs 3, so I bounce it, they get to recast it, that sucks. Um... This is really stinky. So we attack, get our free copy. I mean, I'm not bouncing the Stalwart. I'm just gonna play Soul Nice Buy and play Rabble Rouser and just say go. Try and draw a land next turn. Oh, just like a little behind this game. Just a little behind this game. Wilson! It's like a freaking disco. They're at 49 life. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, all right, that's cool. Whatever, we're good. We're good. Certainty of death. Small chance of success. What are we waiting for? Oh, gross. All right. They're going to specialize here too, probably. He has trample, right? Yeah, they were just dead. Card quality, uh, this thing's pretty nasty. What is going on? Double containment? That's actually so insane for us. Because now I can just play gut and fight with the bear. And they've just got nothing. We're going to win this game. We're going to freaking win this game. Uh... Freaking win this game. I can't. Oh, I can't. I'm so stupid. That's freaking bored. Wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? I, I got so excited for a second. I really did. I thought we were going to win. But we're not going to win. We're going to lose. Uh, five trample, take two. Yeah, I don't think we can win anymore. All right. Yeah, that's where we're just going to die. Sure. All right. Do this. There you go. Um, I guess if they. They bounce the. They do the bear thing. We can bounce it, but I don't know. We'll see. I, I got I got too excited there. I'm sorry. I just got really really excited. I thought we had it. I just forgot the ward ability. Just, you know, in the lost in the uh, in the endless sea of text is ward two, and I'll put reading glasses on for now. And it's uh, no! it's cool. 
No worries. You mean a tavern? They like this card's bad. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> um, five four mana to draw one card. Sure. They get to toll off one of my creatures. It's actually pretty huge to have one of my creatures here. But they didn't specialize, so it's just a two two, and they don't get to attack now. So that's cool, I guess. We can dragon. They're gonna make this come in tapped on the dragon. Out of your mind? And now I can kill Mr. Wilson. Cost four mana to kill this. With the specialize. It's pretty hard to leave it on a stack. This is not a dragon. This is a dragon. Oh, wow. So we can kill it after they ward it. But then it gets, like, more abilities, right? Yeah. In your graveyard. So we gotta, we gotta kill this thing now, I think. Um, and the question just becomes, like... Are we just saying go here? It's, like, so sketchy. Um... <laughs> Yeah, we gotta kill it. Alright, we'll just say go. Like, they should never, ever, 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 ever specialize here. Ever. Like, ever with a capital E if it's the size of the Empire State Building. Ever, 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 ever specialize here. That's it. I'm going to clone college. Sure. I mean, this is like, you know, just like Game Sense 101. Um, I do want to target this. I'm going to deal six. Um, there's just, even if I didn't, they didn't know the three other cards in my hand, you still would never specialize there. Because, like, it just, I'm just saying, y'all, I mean, maybe then you would. But, like, I have six mana of two colors of any color. I can cast every card in my hand. Why am I not casting things, you know? And, like, so, like, just never, ever, ever specialize there. Ever. Uh, or Tolkien, me, sure, whatever. And now we're just, like, going to win the game, I think. If they have a 49 and me at, at four. Because they just got, let themselves get blown out. Soul Knife Spy. Uh, we need to be aware of not dying here. That would be, a, you know, definitely a pretty bad way to go. But we can Soul Knife Spy and just leave. Hmm. These things come in tap, which is a little awkward. I can't play this and tap the Walrus, and then this comes in tap. They kill this, I just die. Serpent, obviously. Bouncing something is cool. We're a little light on blue. It's probably just Spy Go. I don't really want to... I guess I can just cast this, right? And, like, use my treasure and just, like, if I draw a land, cool, if I don't, whatever. Just have it as a blocker for next turn. I'm kind of cool with that, actually. I'll just cast it. So, say go. We have a ways to go. We're not, we're not obviously, there at 50, you know, so we have a ways to go, but I think we're in decent shape here. Our hand's pretty good. They're saying go. We draw the island. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, one second. Draw the island. Now. Now, now, now. We just cast dragon and attack. Um, pretty hard to find a better... Sp hmm. Just like trade off soul nice by play dragon. I don't know, we want to get this thing going too, obviously, so we'll just attack and treat, I guess. They basically have to block this, so. Great, play dragon, say go. Nug you down to 45 life. How much? Island, okay. I mean. We're just gonna draw two here. I just, I, I just can't turn away drawing two free cards, so. We'll bounce Toll Keeper. And just like attack. Now it's not in our hand anymore. Just jam with everything. Draw two. Okay, cool. Uh I did I play a land? Shit, I don't remember. I think I did, yeah, right? Yeah, so. Compass once. Shield damage. Play Warcaller and just say go. We got our specialized card here. The red specialization is 
Deals X damage. Each opponent or X damage card to discard this turn. The blue one is... Discard your hand and draw three cards? Holy crap, the blue one's really good. Alright, we have this uh, Serpent available. Um, we can just attack and draw two again, honestly. Just go like land. That wasn't tapped. Three, four, five, six. I actually can't cast the... Uh, the war caller. I'm gonna wait, actually. So we'll attack with the uh, the dragon. This is four, five, six, seven for dragon. Yeah, I ought to be extra careful. We shouldn't die. So just attack like this. Just chipping away. Here's a serpent. Let's get some blockers available. We can give our our war crawler haste. Dust Guard, sure. Alright, I mean, we'll give it haste. I'm not gonna say no, you know? Draw a mountain. So, again, the. Let's go ahead and draw two cards. If you do, I'm discard you discarded this turn. Okay. Uh, it would just trade with one of these. I uh, would draw two, though. I mean, drawing two is sweet. Do I specialize it to red? Then it's just a four, three. It still just blocks anyway. The blue one's really good. The blue one's draw three, right? This is an extra card, but... Yeah, then we just, just, just play our stuff and attack. It's not worth specializing. It does like a few extra points of damage, but I think whatever. It's not really... It does three extra damage. Play this thing. Play this. Attack step. And sending in... I think I want to leave back the ones. Uh, to block these. This is probably too risky, though, because I, I want to be able to draw... If I don't draw a blocker somehow, and they, like, somehow cheese me out... Yeah, I'll play it safe. Attack. In case we go break, like, break, break here. We didn't go break, break, but... Sure. And uh, play this. Say go. Feeling pretty good here, I'm not gonna lie. They're going to Hippogriff as a flyer. Alright, so... You come to a river looking really good here. Is that lethal? It's a lot. Like, it is a lot. Uh, so, ship the Hippogriff. Now we have 6, 10. And then we can pump this thing uh, twice. at 6, 10. 6, 16, 17, 18, 19. It's 20. Uh, it forces a chump block. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. 50 to 4. Smashing my glasses here. 50 to 4 life disadvantage. I don't even freaking care. That's, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, they found me another mythic opponent. This time, mythic 682. And, uh, this hand is honestly not great, but we're gonna keep it. Um, it's kind of hard to mulligan, like, you know, two, two and a half removal spells, two big threats, a rampy card, a card advantage land, like, probably not our usual shtick, but it's fine. Green, white, dust guard. Sure. Probably just gonna kill this with the weaponry. Soul Nice Spot. Never mind. Cast Soul Nice Spot. Easy game. Do our thing. The Soul Knife Spy thing. It is the Soul Knife Spy way. It's fine. He's killing, but still wanted to do my thing. Back for three, say go. We draw a tap land. Cool. It's working out pretty well, actually. Kill this, get our thing back, play gate. We have dragon next turn if we want it. Just have two removal spells. 
Coming in. No blocks. I ain't scared of you. You got the boss of me. Increase evasion lore. That's a card we don't really want to want to uh, bounce though. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Um. We bounce the priest. We get a card. They get a card. Um. However, they need to recast the priest, and then I can. Hmm. And then I can uh, play serpent the turn after. Kind of like that. I'm gonna do it. I'm in. Let's go. It's crazy time. Let's go. Draw card. Draw a land. All right. And then do I want to come to a river? This uh, flaming fist dust guard. I don't think so. I'm just gonna be land serpent next turn, and then then red dragon. Clearing the board is pretty nice actually. I'm just gonna do it. Cause things like we're we're kind of racing here, and if next turn is like me attacking and then blocking with the priest, that's just playing a huge idiot and playing another huge idiot. That feels pretty good. And I have two gates in play to get the cards back. So like, just not you know, which which win win tempo game here? You know, here's priest. Draw another island. Not cool, but sure. Um, so I guess there's no reason to actually get back here. Let's play serpent. So yeah. No reason to offer a trade, just like a play a big fat boomer. Devoted paladin. Sure. Alright, we need to stop drawing lands. Um would be cool, but sure. Play mountain, play dragon. Sego. Definitely a uh, an aggro deck with a top end, that's for sure. Now we're drawing spells next turn, no matter what. We have our gates to draw spells off of, so. End step humiliate the soul nest by sure, that's fine. Honestly. I got two boomers here. They have a fighty card. That's land number seven. I'm gonna blink the priest. Alright, sure. I mean they're certainly doing well on cards, but I'm gonna dragon bass, for sure. We need to draw a spell here. That is a spell. That is definitely a spell. All right. That can make this thing unblockable, and I can kill the Dragon Vassal. Um, and then also draw a card off one of these things, too, right? That is true. That is the case. Um, we go land. I think we need to draw a card off it first. See what we draw. It'll leave up three mana remaining. Yeah, so let's draw a card. Sure. See, so yeah, we're going to kill this at attack. So do this. Choose Dragon right Control. Target this, choose this. This is now unblockable. Attack for 10. Let's go. Let's go. Good lord. Gigantism. And now any instant or sorcery kills them, and then this thing can get in uh, for a few shots as well. They have five, six, seven, eight. Guardian can block the dragon, but not well, obviously. If they're able to make something die or leave the battlefield and they can make a token, that would kind of suck, but... Play Guardian. We've got Grasp, Fire, River. Only actually have a few spells for the Serpent, but... In for four. Down to ten. Tap and draw Soul Knife Spy. So, we're just going to attack with the dragon and play two ground creatures. Yeah, it works for me. This only triggers on their turn, right? I mean, if you were end step, yeah. So, fire and dragon. I should have scryed first, I think, to get a better idea what's going on, but... I guess they... just have to chump block with the servant, too? I have two good block. I'm just gonna attack. Yeah, sure, ship it. They can have, like, the five damage spell, I guess. They can use the, the five damage spell and the priest. Or nah. Or nah. Librarian, scry too. Looking for something nice. <laughs> Those are both pretty nice. Uh, I guess in that order is pretty good. And uh, play Soul Nice Spy and just... We're going to play a land because we have the draw to up this thing too. So Sig up. What do you got for me? 
And step humiliate? Sure. Feeling strangely fine here. In for four. I mean, I don't want to get cheesed out. This is kind of a weird attack. Um, lizard, rogue, dragon, knight. There's no way they can deal six extra damage. Like, they could have two the pump spell. I'm gonna block. We're drawing this thing and draw two cards next turn. Also, just freaking block. What do you got? Red one. That was really good. That was really good. Maybe, I, maybe my block was a little cowardly, honestly. I might have just cost us the game. Um, right, let's play this thing and jam. Draw two. Maybe that was a little too, a little too like I lose the two archeries there. But if they have two archeries, like come on, you know, kind of thing. All right. Still in good shape. We go to three. We play the Rouser. Yeah, play the Rouser. We can also just kill them with the red specialized next turn, which is kind of funny. We might, we might actually discard Will to kill them with this thing. Why is everyone playing this card today? Blue top five, what do you got? Anything good? I don't think so. I think you're dead. I think you're dead. I think you're dead. A four for one. Uh, but they're still dead, right? Play land. Play Unicorn. Go on. Hippogriff. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're dead. Untap and steal something. I'll take that. And I'll specialize this. Hold on, let's actually read this. Sure. That works too. That works too. Hey, you're back to being mono red. I'm in. I'm down mono red. The old double team curve. The Gooblin. Opponent. What's up, friend? How you doing over there? Anything you want to uh anything you want to do? I want to remind you that we're brought to you by. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Keeping. Perfect timing. Alright, so down, down, down to Tumble Town. Steadfast Paladin. Walrus. Good old Rouser. Blocking. Snap block. Gain two. Nothing nothing else, too. Wow, that's great. Alright, we should take our uh, our double team here. Take our free card. And I think we walrus here, actually. Uh, because we get to and then next turn we can go Rouser and Beetles, and then on turn five we can cast Gut. So also a decent chance they play a blocker, so. Alright, take the island. So go. Land four, Paladin's in, gain two. And then uh, blink the Paladin. Sure, that's, 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 we can take that, that's fun. That is okay. Play Island. And just play Beetles and Rouser and just say go. We have Gut lined up for a little fight action. Run dubs on the uh, Paladin if they attack. Ooh, Naya. I don't think I've ever seen a Naya deck in this format before. What do you got? One color is obviously a splash, but 
I mean, probably. I, I will see, but assuming. And they're tanking. Here they come. Dubs. Dubs? Dubs. Dubs. What do you got? Pump spell? Dreadlinorn? Sure. So, stinks a little, but could be worse, I guess. Another island? Alright, we are drawing. Let's look at these, these specializations. So, they're, the red one creates a copy of creature card that's out of this creature, so it does double strike in haste. And the blue one, 3-3 three, three flying in haste. Both pretty irrelevant. Um... Okay, we we play gut here, and like our uh, our fights aren't particularly uh, particularly fighty. We I guess we can attack with the beetles and they probably block, and then we just like fight the beetle. With the, I like that a lot actually. So let's attack here. Attack with this. I was mad. I'm so, I'm so stupid. Duh. All right. Um. Maybe we just like play a bunch of beetles or. The gut fights, we could just trade gut for Paladin, which honestly, given it's a 4-4 lifelinker, isn't that bad. Because um, it's not killing anything else anyway. Us are playing Beetle Beetle, and our blocks aren't great. I guess they're fine. We block Stalwart. Let's do that. Let's play Beetle Beetle. Beetles everywhere. Like, we can always just kill this later, or see what we draw. Dawnbringer Cleric is here to gain two life, I suppose. And here comes the Paladin. No blocks. You got me. There's a War Caller, a little late. They have left four mana up again that looks very Dreadlinorny. Um, they only have two cards left, but it's kind of sus, honestly. Um... It would suck. Double dread, double dread, dread the norm would be very, very hard to beat. Um, I mean, don't really have any good fights here. I guess we could like attack with all the beetles and then fight the they block with the three three. Fight the war caller on the three three with one damage on it. I mean, everything just gets wrecked by freaking Dreadlinorn. But I don't know if we have a play that actually like works this turn. Sure. So no second copy of Lenore, that's pretty cool. And now I get to blink, like ETV this and blink something. Although blinking this doesn't actually do anything, but it's kind of cool, I guess. They play Ritual, they mill over land, land, land. <laughs> Gets two lands back, whatever. I guess they did, they just drew, they just still drew, still drew two cards, I guess. I think they like, can play Dread the Lenore at some point, but. Okay, that was kind of cool. We draw this Citadel Agent. Um, Read this again. Um, double strike in haste. Can't really utilize this. I guess we can just like offer to trade it with the paladin. We still draw two, which is pretty good. This costs three to specialize. This is a interesting decision. There's so many words in these cards. Nothing good to we can blink the walrus doesn't really like do anything. This becomes a 5-4, which is almost irrelevant sizing. This becomes a 4-3, and I would draw two cards. Play this, specialize it. Discarding Beetle, I guess isn't ideal, but um, 
I actually have no idea what I want to do here. Five, four, and this specializes for five. This card's kind of OP. Um, all right. I'm just going to do this, I guess. Play this. I'm going to specialize it. Discard the red card. And move to combat. And attack with this, this, this. And I guess gut also. Like, trading gut for the paladin's fine. I don't really need, like, the... There's, they're going to bless up blocks anyway, so attack with this. Discard my hand. Draw. That was actually a sick draw. Unbelievable. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! They double block? No. You, know, you gotta block this thing, right? Like, you can't let this draw two cards every turn, you know? Just attack, draw two. It's act, draw two. It's act, draw two. Alright, awesome. So now you get to do the Shocking Grasp. Oh, 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 what a draw. Boom, 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 boom. And play, play land turn. We did play land turn. Now next turn we just get to go like land, spell, attack, draw two. Ooh, that card's good. Oh, that's a problem. Okay. Um, I don't know if we can beat that. We need to draw... We have two rivers. We need to draw them essentially immediately or we're just dead. There are 20. Nikes. That's so bad. I'm good. Um, all right. Four tap. I'm just gonna try and hit it, honestly. No. Um, okay. That's a card, I guess. This card's so broken. All right. Play this thing and say go. This card's really good, but like, doesn't actually do anything in the current scenario. Oh, that's the extra point of damage now. All right, now we have to draw uh, one of our two rivers, or we're just dead. All right, I guess you just got to draw it. Or we're dead to the dragon. This game was going so well for us, too. I was, like, so happy that things were going at this game. And it all just came unraveled. All right, I guess... I guess activate. You need to draw you come to a river. That's not that's not you come to a river. Uh even if I attack, discard my hand. Um I still take four from this thing. Yeah, I don't think we have any outs, but... I guess I could draw a tappy thing. No, I, still, I, still, I still thought it doesn't, it doesn't freeze it, it just taps it. Sure, alright, yeah, let's attack step. Um, yeah. Uh, 20? <laughs> That's so much. Alright. Attack. Discard my hand. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot that one. I forgot that one. Okay. 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 So, get the hell out of here. Get off my plane. Um, and now, now what? We're five and they're 18? Holy shit. Block this thing. Eat one of those. Take six. Okay. I can flicker the dragon. Oh my god, this is awesome. Alright. When you go to 12, I can specialize this and then make a copy of this and flicker dragon. And I give dragon haste. Oh my god. 
I mean, Dragon Give Me Haste is eight by itself. All right, well, I guess they, they play this again, right? That's that's true. <laughs> I forgot about that. That, that, that whole part. That wasn't gone forever, but... All right. Um, we're 13% to draw this card. No. Um, still alive. Still alive. We get to... Oh, we're a mana short. It's supposed to five to specialize. Crap. No, we're so close. Um, that's five. That's eight. Really? We're one mana off? Oh, man. Five to specialize. Copy, blink. Dragon has to chump, though. Oh, man. I guess we get, like, another shot, though, right? We have no good... No good attacks. Play Warcaller. Alright, say go. They attack me. I have chump block with this. I take four, go to one. And then... I guess if we draw... Dragon's Fire or come to a river we win because we can give this thing hate. Oh, we can't give it haste. Crap, it's, it's not in the in the zone. It's not in our hand. It sucks. I wanted to, wanted to blink the dragon so bad. I wanted to blink the dragon so bad. Oh my god. Did I read the card wrong? I read the card wrong. Oh no. Okay. Any target that's not a dragon. I mean, I'm technically not a dragon. I mean, I'm just saying. Um, okay, so it can't deal damage to me. I did not know that. I thought this, uh, this could deal damage to players also. I don't know how that changes the math for the last turn or two, if it does actually change anything, and I can't really think about it, so whatever. All right. They're at eight. They just got to kill my creature... I just thought it dealt damage to me. I don't know why. Yeah, like... We... Crap. Crap, crap, crap. We about... I mean, Emperor is also pretty good. Emperor is a good draw. Come to a river is a good draw. Dragon's Fire is a pretty good draw. Um, like Dragon's Fire, kill it. I guess they play, play Lenore and attack with everything. They block this and this. Take two. Block this and this. Take two, four, five, six. Yeah, we're too short. Yeah, it's probably just like Emperors are a really good draw. They are really good tank here. Jeez. Split the spoils targeting. Why the hell wouldn't they just cast Redlinorn? I have no cards in my hand. Like, they can have their freaking unicorn back. Whatever. What a weird play. Alright, well, I drew a land anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. That sucks. Um, I feel like we, like, Matt, we were gonna steal this game, too. Uh, we're just dead, but, yeah, sure. Alright, that's fine. We both used both these already, too, right? Yeah, they're gone. Alright, they got us. Good game. Dragon's pretty good. Dragon's pretty good. Pretty sick card. It sucks because like, we actually have a kill spell that can, like, bounce it and remove it and stuff, too, but... It's alright. We'll live. Double, double, double. A double, double, double. That still only counts as one. Double team curve's kind of weird because, like, you end up attacking and getting a card you're not going to cast, but... From Mythic to Gold. Alright, bones on six. 
Swamp go. Mana's good here. Just like extra lands to cast all our spells. We have six spells in our hand, effectively, so. Guilds, poor Guild Sworn Prowler. How the mighty have fallen. This is one of my once one of the best black commons, and now it's just an also ran. It's not bad, but it's not good. No blocks. I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! So. Soul Knife Spy is sick. Alright, so we're going to attack here. Just get our, our double team on or whatever. Play Soul Knife Spy. Threaten the uh, the card draw. Whenever Soul Knife Spy is played, your opponent is under the threat of, like, us removing a blocker and being able to get in with it and draw a card. And, like, you never want that to happen, basically, ever. So, here's Prowler. Yeah, no blocks. Just take the one. And play another Vampire Spy. Alright. Uh, weaponry. Just play the librarians as they go here. We're not really in a huge rush. Um, yeah, this is like fine. Just like play librarians as they go. Can't push any damage with the soul lamp spy just yet, so just scry, find our boom booms as they go. Come to a river and soul lamp spy. I don't really want to blank the uh, spawn, honestly, but I think I still want to keep this, keep this card in my hand, so. So I go. Bouncing spawn is, you know, it's not ideal. I think it's likely that librarians can trade with the spawn and a wep and a wep weaponry. Let's take the one. Like when this was two a turn, we should be at like you know eight right now or nine right now. If this card was a two, it was a two one. Like this card's so good. Much more fair now, for sure, but... You come to a river. So, they do nothing, which is obviously quite strange. And does kind of make me want to shove here and just go river, river, dragon's fire, attack. Um, but they could easily have a kill spell with the soul nice spider, it makes it a lot worse. Um, other options is just to jam more stuff into play. We could have that with librarians and just like finish off whatever they block and then play Rouser. I kind of like that better actually. We'll just like play it safe here. Send librarians. Double team. Excuse me. They double here. It's fine. Not going to block at all. Sure. It's cool too. Just jam stuff. Just play Rouser and play Beagles and Sega. Don't really need to be using our rule spells with their freaking two threes, you know. Sega. Let's see what they're uh, what they're four mana for. Yeah. Bathe in gold. All right. So they really wanted that fifth mana for something or a different color or something. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Uh, never attacks or dies. Choose two. And they can pyroclasm. And attack for one, sure. I mean, we just bounce this, right? It's pretty awesome, actually. Yeah, I'm in. I guess we could kill it with weaponry and dragon fire, but then they get to do the death trigger and deal two damage to each creature I control that would kill this and this. Then these would get bigger. It's interesting. Um, if they did it to themselves, they would have a field of four threes. Two damage target player only makes you tokens, or try to discard all the cards and then seeks that many non land cards. It's weird. Um, really weird cards. There's many words in these cards. Uh, If we river this, they might not even be able to play it next turn, which is pretty appealing. But then I can't really do that much else, honestly. I can Dragon's Fire, Double Team, Attack, Pump the Rousers. Not much to do, honestly. I kind of think we just kill it.
Like, if they want to give us three more, three different spells, it's, like, pretty good, I think, because I think our spell quality is pretty high. Um, they want to clasm me. They kill the spy and the beetles. Make me make me have two three threes and a four four, which is pretty good. They want to deal damage to me. Give me treasures. That's also good. Just cast the beetles, which is cool, too, so... Glad they also think it's a difficult choice. I guess if they clasm themselves, they'll have two four threes, and they'll draw a card of the Prowler. What do they do? That's their end do. Okay, so now they have two four threes. They draw a card. I get treasures. Um, it is perpetual, so maybe by bounce they still live. Now I want to send in Soul Mass Spy for sure, and the Beatles for sure. They're like kind of hard to block actually now, but 22 to 10. They got to block this thing, so sure. Better trade now, and now we just cast the, the Fresh Beatles. I can attack next turn. Just double block this thing with those, some of these things. They were in good shape here. This board looks pretty good for us. Barring another 5 mana mythic, you know? Don't play this card, folks. Just a bear. They're gonna clutch me? What a jerk. All right, I'm going to keep the You Come to a River, I think. Yeah. All right, down to eight. You can watch this flyer. The flyer can kill us. Heh, <laughs> sure. Uh, all right, just like attack with my menace creatures. There you go. There's freaking beetles everywhere. Right, so there's a dragon. Um, we just like bounce this and keep attacking. Like our attacks are pretty good here. All things considered. Now you can double bounce. So bounce dragon, bounce spawn, attack with everything. They take a thousand, it's eight, nine, ten, and then just kill them next turn. Sure, let's do it. Three, five, yeah. Harding spawn first, so they, 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 they never top this, I guess, but they're on top, and then just do it again. This is going to go away forever, for sure. We just slam jam. Is there a world we leave back Rouser? Like, could they kill us out of nowhere somehow? Two, four, six, eight, nine. I'm a coward. I'm a coward. Oh my god. Nope, just kidding. Just kidding. Waka waka. I guess I should have left both of them back then so I just don't block that one. That was dumb. I should have left, I should have left both back. Sure, I didn't like logic out that like if, if only one goes in, you should leave them both back, but sure. They're at eight. We have six menace coming in. These are gonna be three power creatures next turn, possibly four if we draw land. Uh, they play this thing, they just die, right? They go to 10. I mean, not, I guess. Let's change the math a little bit. We go to 6, they go to, they go to 10. We attack with everything. They block the 3s, go to 2. Yeah. 
Not quite there yet. This came in last turn. They were at seven. They're going to summon undead. Uh... Shit. Dragon's fire. Uh, two, four, six. All right, they're dead. Thank God. Whew. All right. Dragon's fire. Kill this. And just like pop an attack. All right. Oh, thank God. Oh boy. Bingo. That game was pretty scary. Double Balor. Moving on to our silver opponents. Quite the spread today. Quite the spread. Um. Okay. The old Warcaller tap land hand. It's interesting. Uh, we only have two twos. We have a lot of threes, obviously, though. So we're going to keep this, obviously. We don't know what we're going to play on turn one, though. Point of Mulligans. Down to six. Swamp, yeah. We draw a third land. That being said, we'll play Warcaller on one. Before, we didn't have a guaranteed third land yet, so we need to be careful with our, our tumble down, but sure. Another war caller, sure. So we just attack for one. Play gate, play caller, say go. Second caller is much, much worse than the first caller, but fire beetles. Rabble rouser. Um Using you come to a river on a beetles is kind of reasonable, honestly. Because, like, it feels really bad if to cast it again. Might in love with it, but... They're going to top it. So we're going to attack. And now we, we could like Dragon's Fire, Walrus, Haste, Serpent. What a weird game. Um, maybe it's Rabble Rouser. It's like Dragon's Fire, Rabble, Rabble Rouser. So we definitely don't want them to double team. I can just block. Right. I can just block, actually. Hold on. So, it's like this. Just get my thing, and I just block War Caller, and... And whatever on this thing, it's pretty good, so. Blocky works too. I don't really need the war caller, so. I think saving Dragon's Fire is important. This is like a top flight removal spell this thing play. Sewer Plague the War Caller? Oh no. Alright. Choose Serpent. Well, now I can safely attack, but whatever, I think. That's that's a, a pretty hefty expenditure of resources to uh, to attack like that, so we are going to give our walrus haste. We're going to scry our walrus and see what's up. Walrus says, you come to a river. I'm down. I'm down. And we'll just jam. I'm in. We have six mana to your rule spells and a bunch of freaking uh, things. This thing has haste too, which is nice. Beetles again. Attack for two. You're a maniac. You're insane. Insane. Inconceivable. Um. Just gonna bounce this attack. Uh, two or two? Yeah, just like everything. I did. I did. I did the math. No, nah, they're not dead, but they're like really close to dead, so with two rule spells in our hand. Put our own war caller and another beetle. Sure. Now they want to pump the brakes. Now they want to pump the brakes. Alright, so 
We can give Soul Knife Spy haste. It's not very exciting with haste, but sure. Just pump these. That's all great, though. Yeah, give us haste. Cast this. Tag with everything. Pump the Rousers. So they're not, like, dead dead, but... I guess I could have killed them with the river, too, right? Whatever. They're just freaking dead. Who cares? He's a dear thing. Like, all their blocks here are awful. They go to one. I have a hasted thing. Two removal spells. Like, it's fine. Could have won the game with this thing if I use the the off the not often used uh, find a crossing ability. Plus, I'm also going to be blocked, but yeah, they're trading the board and jump blocking. Going to one. I have three creatures in play, two in my hand, the serpent, the gate. Just got everything. Just got the world. Got the whole world. So you get nothing in my hands. You lose. Good day, sir. And if we win this match, we get seven wins and. A trophy. I meant we rank up. So we rank up to uh, the next level, which is super sweet. Hand's great. This game's awesome. This is a, a very weird looking hand, but honestly, a very good one. We're going to keep this. We have War Callers. We have a little ramp. We have the Jin. Maybe a Soul Lance by too. Sick. Uh, okay. The Agent. All right, a little awkward. The tap lands. We could have maybe played tap land on one, war caller on two, and then soul land spy on three. We're kind of like banking on, on drawing an untapped land here. And if we don't, it kind of sucks a little bit. But I think we're still okay, honestly. Um, oh, the rope. Oh no, the rope dope versus the emperor. That's so brutal. All right, let's tap this bad boy down. Tap this thing down. Get the hell out of here. Is that a new chain effect? It's fancy, I guess. Um, yeah, just stack. You're up. New chain effect. Sound bug fixed, too? I didn't even notice. It's working as intended. Wow, that's shady. Just leaving up four mana and five cards in hand. I mean, I have triple soul knife spies, so like, I guess we're just gonna do it, right? Probably gonna get hit with the uh, the five damage spell, but whatever. Oh, they, they, I'm sorry, they have Dreadlord Horn. That's like the most obvious thing in the world. Uh, I'm not gonna attack here, since I go. Yeah, super obvious Dreadlord Horn. Don't be an idiot, Jim. Sniff it out, come on. Going for the uh, the old untap the Robo Robo dope, so yeah, I I caught myself there. Obviously, I should have not hasted the one that I played and then not used it. But yep, there you go. So all right, there we go. The only bad news is now they have a freaking six seven in play, but we'll eventually draw a new uh, thing. So they're gonna imprison my soul knife spot. You got it. In jail. All right, let's give all of our things haste, like all of them. Land, all right, so you go to land, walrus, soul knife spy. Not attacking, so no need to, uh... oh, I can't do math. <laughs> sure, whatever. Can't play soul knife spy, I screwed up. But I, I can't play shocking grass, though, it's actually really good. It's actually, it's actually worked out better than I, than I thought it would, so now you can block the soldier and with the walrus and then grasp it, which is kind of cool, so. Kind of like serendipitously all worked out. Actually, I should block with the war caller. Grasp it. dead. Soldiers. 3-6 mana. Hmm. Okay, we've redrawn our Jin. Um... 
Now they have soldiers on defense also. I think we just play Soul Espy and say go with the intent to end step cycle and tap this thing. I guess they know we have this, but... There you go. Pretty good counter to the uh, the rope and dope. Dread the Norn's pretty big. In for two. Uh, this is just a war caller block, I think, right? Don't need any more war callers, honestly. Casting this thing is also uh, a thing we could do. There's a freaking 5 6 haste right now in Ward 2. Tapping the robot up is such a good value, though. They're not gonna buy Dreadlord. Are they gonna do it again? Let's see what they do. Let's get another one. Draw a mountain. This is weird. This is really weird. They would not cast Redlinorn. I don't like this. Okay. I mean... I guess we're going for it, right? Like... Cost three to specialize. Just play Soul Knight Spy and attack. Something as bad is happening to one of them, but I think that uh, one of them's gonna get through, so. Just ship it. What's the trick? What's the what's the what's the shtick here? Do they have at, like six mana? I don't know, they watch, sure. Really? Their, their choice was to do that over casting Dread Lenore? All right, sure. And now I have the blue specialize on Agent as well, and double Dragon's Fire. Sure. Specialized draws three. Rabble Rouser. So we can actually just like Dragon's Fire, Dragon's Fire, Citadel thing. Yeah, I'm doing that. Double haste. Get us closer to our in, just haste. Oh, no, that's not a haste. I'm sorry. This is a beating. This is a beating. Cool, let's go. Draw your card. Whatever. Get out of here. You're dead. You're dead. Upstairs. Light him up. Seven wins. That's what I'm talking about. This deck was freaking really, really cool. And you know I mean it because I have my teeth together when I'm talking. There we go. I like it. I like it a lot. That thing was sweet. Um, that thing was really, really cool. We had an interesting amount of aggression in top end. I really liked how that deck utilized um, utilized sort of like the under the cards that are definitely not very good in the format in a in a unique way. I think it's like the the bread and butter of drafting is when you when you figure out how to use the bad cards in a good way. Um, you know, Soul Knight Spy is not very good in this format. Uh, most blue decks do not want to attack. However, if you do have a deck that does want to attack, this card actually is good. So, like, looking at this card as just a bad blue card uh, is a, a very narrow viewpoint for your drafting. When you get to the point where you're getting a little better at it, you recognize, like, this card is bad, but these are the scenarios where it could be good. And if I find those spots, I get to use a bad card as a good card in my deck, which makes room for more good cards in your draft, which is awesome. So, deck was sweet, good removal spells. A little light on two, but Warcaller is really, really good. Um, very happy we added the third one for sure. Um, 
librarians. Like, the cards play pretty well. We honestly never really used Whale more than once. Um, the card's busted, but... And the Emperor, we drew once, twice, is pretty good. Um, so we get top end. The Serpent's pretty good as well. It was just just, just cool deck. Love this deck was awesome. Like it a lot. Might be my favorite deck so far of the entire series. So, episode 20 is in the books. Bro, we're at uh, Diamond 3 now. YouTube folks, love you, like, comment, subscribe. You're all great. Keep it coming. Let's go, folks. Have a good one.